Currently, the only viable option for a permanent heart transplant is to use a donor organ. Well, researchers at OSHU want to change that. I'm Zach. This is Zach DTV. I think we should take a look at this. Based on current technology, the only option that doctors have when performing a heart transplant is to use one from another human donor. And yes, we are seeing advances in lab-grown hearts or even 3D printing silicone hearts. But we are still far away from having those ready to transplant into a human being. Another pretty futuristic option is to grow them inside a host animal, say a pig or a sheep, and then harvest the organs further down the road for transplant into human beings. There's a lot of promising research there as well. But that doesn't solve the problem we have right now in America alone. 75,000 people will die each year because they don't get the transplant that they need. And that's the problem that researchers from the Oregon Health and Science University want to remedy with their new artificial permanent heart. Now don't get me wrong, researchers have been looking into mechanical hearts since 1940, and the first successful implant was done in 1982. But all mechanical hearts up to this point have had the same problem. They are only good for short term use to get someone through a waiting period until they get a donor heart. And the reason for this is the heart does a lot of work. And our current ability to manufacture a pump for our chest just cannot handle the wear and tear. And they fail rather quickly. Like heck, that silicone printed one that I was talking about earlier, that one's only good for 3,000 pumps so far. And even people in positions of power like uh, Dick Cheney are even stuck using artificial heart pumps while they wait for their transplant. But this is what makes the OHSU device so novel. It only has one moving part, and because of this, it should be able to last a whole lifetime. And according to OHSU's website, the only moving part here is a titanium tube that contains a titanium alloy coated hollow rod that shuttles back and forth. This to and fro motion moves blood to the lungs so it can grab oxygen and then sends the resulting oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. And according to Sanjeev Call, he's a CEO of OHSU Knight Cardiovascular Institute. Considering the human heart beats 14 million times a year, it's crucial that an artificial heart is durable and robust. The simple efficient design of our total artificial heart makes its potential for failure very low. Now, unfortunately, this unit does require an external power supply, which would be carried in your pocket or on your back for the time being. But even that can be replaced as battery technology gets better, charging abilities get better, or even we see advances in collecting a charge from the human body. This unit has shown a lot of promise in studies with cows and sheep. In fact, they're going into another longer three month study with sheep coming up here shortly. And if all goes well in that study, they're looking to move directly into human trials. So it's a very real possibility that by the end of 2018, we could see a fully artificial, permanent replacement heart going for FDA approved. Now my question for you, would you trust a mechanical heart to keep your blood flowing over a biological one? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For a follow-up question, would this make you a cyborg? I kind of think it would. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button and subscribe for more interesting science news. If you click that bell icon, you'll receive notifications on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload something new. And on that note, I'm going to take off, so have fun and be safe.